King of Minecraft, this is MC Rep, and with the potentially temporary additions made by the 20W21A snapshot, being able to start a Minecraft game by spawning in the nether is truly possible. By editing the experiments world generation file, controlling how each dimension works has been made a little bit easier. With my numerous experience, experiments, I have been able to create a world where I am stuck in the nether and cannot even go to the overworld. I am quite certain that I'll be using something like this to start my own nether survival let's play. However, I think there are some things people may not appreciate about this thing just yet. The beauty of nether only survival is the limitations. Allowing ourselves to struggle and innovate under new pressures makes us better. I honestly felt disappointed in myself when I finally managed to get to the overworld in one of my previous nether worlds. Those limitations were gone and I was back to regular Minecraft. Still great, but not what I was looking for. Instead of getting to the Ender Dragon, I look forward to beating the Wither as my big boss fight in the Nether. With food sources being limited to mushrooms and hoglins, eating is an actual struggle. Progression is difficult as well, getting from wood to gold and stone is simple, but to iron and diamonds it will take some grind. The only access to diamonds and its tools is through exploration, finding fortresses and bastions and looting them. After long distances of exploration, upgrading to Netherite will then be possible. But let's even think beyond the nether. Putting overworld biomes on end islands can give us a brand new way of looking at survival islands. Uh, similar to Mojang Studios' April Fool's updates, the possibilities are infinite. But this time, you can make it how you want it. There are simply so many possibilities that I alone have just done and been filling up my computer space with, with different Minecraft worlds just breaking and crashing the game, editing so many different things. I'm really excited to see what other people are going to do with these new settings, and hopefully Mojang Studios either decides to keep these features or improve on them, allowing more access and different forms of manipulation in the future. I'm really excited to see what they might be able to come up with. With that being said, on that last note, if you would like a particular world made for you, I'd be happy to try making some and giving you the files to use on your Minecraft worlds using my new Discord, to which I have provided a link in the description. Given that I cannot make posts on YouTube until I get a much higher subscriber count, I'll be making posts and updates in there, so make sure that you stay tuned if you care about this channel. Finally, Minecrafters, remember the rules, don't be a Fortnite fool, Hytro Hypocrite, or Roblox Reject, always be an amazing Minecraft master. Stay the blockiest the blocks can be.